Welcome to Blather Round. A very wise woman once told me, just start the game already. So I will. You're going to present a secret prompt. Like Moby Dick. You'll describe it to everyone else with sentences like this one. Now, you can change some of these words, but your options are very limited. Everyone else will be guessing while you make more elaborate sentences. Oh! It's a lot like Free Willy 2. Moby Dick! Be fast to win big. And teamwork is rewarded. So talk out loud and work together. Let's begin. Okay. Round one. First up, choose the prompt you'd like to present. If you pick a harder prompt, you'll get more points if someone guesses it right. Oh, time is ticking. Hurry, hurry! If you don't pick a prompt in time, I do it for you. Now you're going to craft a sentence that describes your prompt. On your device, you'll see two word columns. Pick words to build a sentence describing your prompt, and then tap Submit when you're finished. You can always change your mind. Just tap the word again to take it out. Time is ticking! Hurry, hurry! Guess what? You're going first! The category is story. It's a story about a fantastic, colorful individuality. Use your device to submit your guesses. That means everyone in the audience, too. While you guess, the presenter writes another sentence. And a young beast. There's no penalty for wrong answers. Guess! Beauty and the Beast. Whoa, a red interspecies comedian. Yes. Beast Boy. The hero creates the hive mind. Congratulations! You success. It's a lot like Beauty and the Beast. You must have a big, juicy brain to make a sentence that long. Eventually, there's a yellow stinger. No. No. It has the same vibe as beauty and... 
I knew you could do it! Great job, everyone! And everyone who contributed a helpful guess gets some points, too! The category is... Place! It's a warm place. Off you go! Joker. Fireplace. Joker. Fireplace. You can always hit skip to get a new sentence with new words. Jigger. It's where you notice the jungle. Guru. Africa. The Jungle Book. It's close to Africa. When the presenter uses your guess in a sentence, you get points. Brazil. Congratulations! That would have been better if the prompt was about dragon. You're guessing a person. Ooh, tricky. It could be anyone. They're a young fictional individual. Let's get the presentation started. Harry Potter. Mr. Bean. There sure is a lot of t They are in a book about the individual traveling. Madeline McCann. They're more famous than Mr. Bean. I hate. He's so hairy. We're nearing the end. Guess, guess, guess. Wolverine. They have the same vibe as Harry Potter. Type fast. We're down to the wire. Hagrid. The prompt was not guessed correctly. If you think the presenter did a good job anyway, hit my bad on your device. You'll be our last presenter this round. The category is story. It's a story about an incredible multicolored villain. Here we go. Megamind. Gay man. 
and a terrible guy. Shrek. It's a different genre than Marvel. DC. Wolf, a phenomenal class. Now that everyone's gone once, let's check out the scoreboard. Just so you know, I calculated all of this by hand. If you liked round one, you'll love the sequel. Round two, points are doubled. Same challenge, new prompts, choose wisely. Pick the prompt that seems like the most fun or the one that seems the least scary. Time is ticking! Hurry, hurry! Write a sentence to describe your new prompt. If you really want to fine tune, tap individual words in your sentence and change them. It's your turn. The category is thing. It's a sharp body entity. Let's do this. Duh. Duh. Knife. Penis. It pricks the entity. Shark. It's smaller than shark. Talk about painful. What a sweet little sentence. So small, so cute. See your gym. Snake. Hedgehog. Spider. Time is running out. Submit more guesses. Hedgehog. Look at all the hard work you did. They picked place. It's a tall shape. Here we go again.
It's where you travel for the night. Eiffel Tower. So much parade. Giraffe. Hotel. This place has a spicy grub. You have a way with words. It's nothing like Eiffel Tower. Dubai. India. It's where you party in the crowd. Madrid Stadium It's in a different country than Madrid well, That sentence is a three-course meal Oh, time is ticking, hurry, hurry It's a vibrant culture Spain It has the same vibe as India. Time is almost up. It's where you travel for the beach. If at first you don't succeed, you end up where we are now. The category is story. It's a story about a wonderful concept. And so it begins. Star Wars. Spider-Man. And a joyful beast. Jack and the Ben Stork. B movie. Beauty and the Beast. It's kind of similar to B movie. Mega Mind. B. Bugs Life. That's yeah, a comic movie. A perfectly plump sentence. And movie. Ants. Edmund. You haven't got long left. It's like an animated version of B. Wasp. The Wasp. Hornet. Oh, the hornet. time is ticking. Hornet. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> I'll say the problem was a lack of confidence. Last presenter, you're up. The category is place. It's an incredible community. Here we go. Japan. The Blacks. It's where you meet the creature. Burger King, a Maxim, KFC, Amazon, Wales, McDonald's, Ooh. 
It's nothing like Wales. Ocean. So much neighborhood. I absolutely adore that sentence. America. Time is ticking. Hurry, hurry. It's more specific than America. New York. Time is almost up. Florida. Canada. means the big juicy winner is... You did it! And you're so handsome, it kills me. Thanks for playing. Come back whenever you feel a blather stirring in your soul. to the Scrolliseum. These talented trainers are about to face off to see who's the best at creating champion characters with unusual skills. Will the underdogs take down the heavy favorites? It's time to get champed up. In this first step, the tra...
20 seconds remain, players need to name their character. The trainers are now moving on to creating a challenger. These characters will be the underdog. Twenty second warning, name those characters. It's time for the main event. Our first opponent enters the ring. And in this corner we've got these two will battle to see who is the champion of has beens. below the belt. It's anyone's fight. Some extra cash goes to the underdog. Get a move on, old timer. In this corner, we've got... They'll be facing off against... We'll decide once and for all who is the champion of making people vomit. This is tough to watch. Now that's a slam dunk on blowing chunks right there. Entering the ring. And opposing them will be. One of them will be crowned the champion of high school. We're witnessing an absolute thrashing. Back and forth they go. valuable than a Justin's class ring. Next up it'll be versus these two are facing off to see who is the champion of losing. This has become a one-sided match. What an ox 
oxymoron, huh? And that takes us to halftime. Here are the scores. Twenty second warning, name those characters. Name those characters. It's the second half, which means it's time for the tag. Let's start things off with our first two fighters. One of them will be the champion of Gen Z. Oh, 
dear, look away! Look away! It's not over yet. Here's the next title up for grabs. Champion of undercover CIA operatives. Will the trainers keep fight. their characters or swap out? It's mayhem down in the draw ring. There's no eye in team kids, only in kids. Two new fighters enter the ring. You will decide who is the champion of martial arts. We'll declare a winner after this next match. The champion of being the chosen one. The trainers have a decision to make. Here come the reinforcements. This might be over. Teamwork, folks. Here's our next matchup. Who is the champion of parades? This next contest could swing things. The champion of awe-inspiring majesty. Will the players tag out? Let's find out. Holy smokes, I didn't see that coming. Welcome to Slamtown. More like a world chump, I'm just saying. Cheese stands alone. It's time for our next bout. One of them will be the champion of stunts. Ouch. a scribble quibble. It all comes down to this next match. A champion of frequent ER visits. What will the trainers do? Let's see. It's a whole new fight. Bam! Right in the face. Chemistry is off the charts. Okay, folks, that was the final match. The judges are tallying the final scores, and... We have a winner!
It's time for Quiplash 3, Rotten to the Core. I'm Schmitty, and I hope to meet and or exceed your quipping needs today. Hey, if you're bummed out you're not in the game, you can still affect the score. Join the voting audience by entering the room code. Let's kick it off with round one. You're about to see a couple of different prompts on your device. Enter your best response for each, then go head to head against another player's best stuff. Oh, and everyone else gets to vote on their favorite. Points are awarded based on the percentage of people who went for your answer, so make them count. Okay, I'm not responsible for what happens next. Let's start with... Book adaptations have gone too far. Now they're making blank on ice. Okay, show some love. Next on the docket, you know it's bad when your mom says, I'm not mad, I'm blank. All right, people, it's voting time. All right, check this out. Casinos hate it when you walk up to the blackjack table and yell, blank. Okay, choose your favorite. Next up. The community college was doomed after it made blank its mascot. Now it gets real. Pick your favorite. Let's keep it going. A better name for skinny dipping. And now pick your favorite. We made it through round one in one piece. Let's see if your score did. <laughs> round two is upon us. Put on your best quip face because the points are doubled and the tension is thick.
Time's running out. Wrap it up or use a safety quip if you have to. Your entire lives have led to this moment. Up to bat, we have... The nation was finally united when the president's press secretary announced blank. Okay, time to choose. And next is, what scandal will rock the North Pole this year? Time to pick the one you like best. thing you'd wish on your second worst enemy. Okay, everybody, pick your favorite quip. Without further ado, Two good emojis to send when breaking up with someone. All right, vote for the one you like best. And next, the biggest perk of living in a cave. Here's the fun part. Pick your favorite quip. Okay, only one round remains. Let's see how it's shaping up to this point. <laughs> and now for Griplash. One last chance to strut your stuff. I'm going to send each of you a prompt that requires three separate responses. Got all that? Good. I see we have an odd number, so you'll be quipping against me, Schmitty, your host. Let's go inside. The three best birthday gifts for a very sad man.
Okay, so I shouldn't celebrate an empty victory, but you know what? I really needed that today. The three things Batman insists on doing every day. And now it's time to vote for your favorite. Three words you don't want to hear someone use to describe your genitals. Decisions, decisions. Choose your favorite. Take a deep breath and behold the final scores.
Congratulations, fellow demons. You and your family have been selected to take part in our groundbreaking demon-human relations program. You'll be living among the humans and taking part in the pointless and highly stressful rituals of mortal life. Whether you want to or not. Each of you has a role, parent, teen, or child. You know, like a family. Your role affects the types of tasks you can do, so take note of it. And if you want to freshen up your look, use your device to cycle through your options. Your new life awaits. As your assigned demon relocation specialist, it's my... Excellent. You're going to see a list of tasks appear on your device. You know, mow the lawn, muck out the gutters, stand in the garage and sigh. These are normal chores humans do every day. No one knows why. Complete these tasks and you'll earn points for the family score. Keeping the family score high is your number one priority. If you end the week with a low family score, you'll get a failing grade. And the boss downstairs will not be happy with you. Or me. I suggest you work together to do as many tasks as possible. Some tasks require teamwork, so don't be afraid to yell when you need a hand. But there's also a prize for the individual that earns the most points. They'll be rewarded with a human-style trophy to lord over the rest of the family, the coveted World's Bestest Devil Mug. Last thing, tasks with this symbol are selfish tasks. They don't help the family at all, and doing too many causes an emergency that can be catastrophic to the family's score. However, they're worth a ton of points to those devilish enough to get away with them. Just saying. Got all that? Good. Now, let's see today's human challenge. Time makes ghouls of us all. Time capsules help your future self remember the past by putting your past interests in a tube for the future. This week, the family makes themselves a present they won't get to open for 15 years. That's your challenge for the week. Challenge tasks look like this. They're worth more points, and doing all of them is the only way to get a perfect grade. So don't screw them up. Brace yourselves. Day one begins now. A challenge task has just appeared on the list. They're the most important tasks of... A member of the family is asking for help with a task. The longer they wait, the more points you're missing out on, so somebody jump in and help already. A challenge task has been added to the list. Well, well, looks like someone's being selfish. When you hear this sound, that means one of the family has given in to their devilish nature. A task to stop them will appear on your device, but you have to act fast. Acting selfish fills the meter, eventually leading to a family emergency. 
but it's worth a bunch of points, if you can stay under the radar. Another selfish act has begun. If I were you, I'd grab the task to stop it, or just publicly shame the perpetrator. As my study of mortals has taught me, a little... A new human challenge task has just appeared. A challenge task is now on the list. Don't miss it. Just FYI, the day's half done, and you need to get your family score at least this high. Work together to finish as many high-scoring tasks as you can before time runs out. I hear the sounds of selfishness. The day's nearly done. Better finish what you're working on. Just watching that was exhausting. Let's check your progress. Here's your current family score. Here's how you're doing individually. This family member did the most selfish tasks. Remember, selfish acts don't help the family and can lead to family emergencies that cost you points. If you see someone acting selfishly, grab the task to stop them. Unless you like losing, that is. All right, back to business.
Think you know what you're doing? You can turn off tutorials in the settings menu. I'll still be silently judging you. You're halfway through the day. If you don't like your score, now's the time to grab some high-value tasks. The day is almost over. Finish those tasks quick. Another day done. Take a load off while we review your score. Here's your family score. Now to check your individual scores. This family member did the most selfish tasks. As always, feel free to shame one another. Back to work, family. It's the last day of the week, so pay attention to your score. If you don't reach this goal, you risk failing the week, and there is no retrying on the final day. Just between you and me, I'm doubling all the points today. Don't all thank me at once.
Just remember, when a task times out, you miss out on points. The day's half done. Pick up the pace before time runs out. Uh-oh. Looks like somebody's selfish actions have caused a family emergency. You've all got to work together to end the emergency, and the whole family loses points until you do. Better hurry. Hello? You're losing points? Time's almost up. It's now or never, family. Okay, then. The last day is over, and your performance review just arrived. Let's see how things shook out. Not only were we delighted with the time capsule you assembled, but the old one you dug up contained hundreds of shares in pair computers. We're rich! We'll send you a 2% finder's fee. Congratulations on successfully completing this human challenge. As for your solo scores... The most selfish family member won. I wish I could say I wasn't impressed. Your grade might have been higher if someone hadn't been thinking of themselves. But a deal's a deal. Allow me to present... Mug. Hooray!